Hey, so several years ago, uh, my buddy Robert gave me uh, a pocket knife, which I have carried around for years now. Uh, he gave it to me as a gift, and it's one of these. It's a Kershaw uh, 1620ST, made in the USA. Uh, it's what, two and a half inch blade, roughly serrated. It's got a clip for your belt, and it's got a little... Uh, sliding lock, which should keep it from opening, but it broke. It's not going to focus all that well, but you can see that I mean, it's right there. Um, it broke. So I contacted Kershaw through their website, uh, not really trying to get anything from them, just saying, hey, um, this little bit broke on the knife, you know, can I get a replacement part? Well, the form doesn't ask you for uh, what it is that you're you're trying to do. It says, you know, what's your make and model of the thing, and it's going to get submitted to support. I didn't hear anything from a couple of weeks, and then I got an envelope in the mail with this thing in there, which is tiny, and that's the safety mechanism. There's a screw and a washer and a little plastic bit that when I take it out we'll take a look at it a little bit better. So uh, today I'm going to work on replacing my non-functioning locking safety mechanism because this has come open in my pocket and I have poked myself in both the leg and in the hand before. Uh, so we're going to fix that and replace it with this tiny little bit that they uh, so graciously sent me. So here we go. Okay, so that took a lot longer than expected. I went through every set of miniature screwdriver set that I have, including this super bits, obviously not small, but a super bit set that I bought off of Amazon. Even dug out a old Craftsman teeny tiny little Torx. And wouldn't you know, I would fall back to my good old standard of Radio Shack. Yay! Precision screwdrivers from Radio Shack way back in the day. Um, so the screw ended up being an eighth inch hex head, which, um, wow, who knew? And these parts are super tiny like I mentioned. So we've got a tiny little screw and then this where's my there I am got a tiny little let me get that to focus Tiny little mechanism. There's the screw hole that goes through. Oops, sorry. So that's the screw hole that goes through the side of the knife that the screw obviously goes into from the exterior. And then on the inside, You can see that there's a tiny little plate and that tiny little plate has a tiny little piece of plastic which just keeps the blade from sliding out. So without a magnifying glass or a macro lens, let's see if we can undo this. So I cheated and kind of sort of loosened this up a bit. Um, I should be able to reuse the screw and the washer um, and the mechanism should just come right out. All the pieces are so small and it is plastic. 
and I do have the blade very sharp, so trying not to make a uh, silly mistake and cut off a finger that I so desperately like having on my hand. All right. Okay, so that is not going to work. That just barely came out, and with the locking mechanism, I'm going to have to take the handle apart. So pause for the cause. Okay, so yes, I'm going to have to take the handle off, uh, and thankfully, the Radio Shack screw set is very beneficial. There's one screw, it's only one of that size, and uh, it's kind of good that I did this because a couple of these screws were looser than I would have anticipated. Oh, and there is a spring. Should have thought about that. Let's open that up, release some tension off of the spring, maybe. This may all explode. So there's the long screw, big screw, and then a much shorter. Ew, dirty. Let me clean this up. Uh, there's the screw mechanism. I mean, screw spring mechanism. And then there's the release. So now I should be able to slide the piece right in there after I take a moment uh, and clean this up with uh, cotton swab and some defunkifier. Okay, so I have my cleaner, just a regular old cotton swab. And I'm going to try some 50% isopropyl first. This is in my, just happened to be handy and it's with my uh, train modeling stuff right here next to where I am working. So that's just nasty. We'll, we'll start here. And just remove some of the funk. And that is funky. And this has been carried around in my pocket for many, many, many years. Uh, at least 10 probably 15 or so and you can see the gunk just falling off um, and again I keep my knives really sharp because a knife is supposed to be sharp sharp's not knife it's not a knife And I'll come back with some white lithium grease probably and uh, clean this up. Uh, and look at the pocket lint. Mmm. And hair. Mmm. Makes you want to, I don't know, get another Q tip. A little squirt. Oops. Alcohol running all over the place. And it looks like they may have some oil or grease in here. Uh, like I said, I'll probably come back with some white lithium. Just got two huge tubes of it. Yeah, you can see now that the grease that's coming out, kind of looks like your wax, is uh, it's off color. It's uh, yellowish. Uh, that's just nasty. Mmm. <laughs> but I've got most of the big lint out of there. Uh, and uh, this is just horrible. <laughs> just gross to think what's been floating around in my pocket for that long. Uh, and that is not in my primary pocket. But the... Ah, crap. The, uh... Uh, oil grease is to help the 
mechanism uh, sprang open. And so now I need to review my video to see uh, what the orientation of that spring was, because I don't remember. Okay, so I think I got it back in there the right way. Uh, and this will probably take a couple of tries because I, I was not paying that much attention and taking this apart in a live fashion. Uh, so cleaning the surfaces again, it's just some nasty funkiness. And the other side is primarily where the grease is for the spring mechanism. And it's still oily. It's still greasy. Uh, maybe just get some of the cat hair and whatnot off of it. All right, so uh, before I go any further, uh, the whole purpose of this was to replace the safety switch, which is just right here. And that's all it does. It just sits in there with the little peg. Can you see the little peg? There, the peg being close to the butt. All it's got to do is catch the tip of the knife. That's all it's got to do. Um, and so using my very graceful nearly one-handed approach to doing everything I did find it. I do have a spare. Now, fingers crossed. Ooh. If I had done this 10 years ago with better eyesight, I'll need the magnifying glass. I've got 7,000 lumens worth of lights staring, shining right down on me. All right. Let's see if I can lay that down in place. And put this on. Lock the camera, I know. And I missed. So let's try it this way. Okay. That's almost working. Oh, that was too far. Put that back down. And Well, that makes things easier. Just let the blade come off. Okay, so that won't lay flat because of the safety mechanism. Duh. Got 
Oh, it's biting. It's biting. Now, just have that lined up in that little slot. Tighten that screw up. It's too tight. It should slide back and forth to move the locking mechanism just a little bit. That's all it does. Moves from there to there. It just catches the tip of the knife and then keeps it from stabbing you in the side. Oh, and there's, look, another lovely piece of hardware that I wasn't tracking where it came from. Oh, and another one. All right, just get some of this pocket funk out of there. We're just gonna stop cleaning. This is a nightmare. Put this back on. That washer. Okay, back into the locked position. Just kind of wipe, wipe that off with my hands. And I've seen worse. <laughs> nope, that's got to go. That way? Sure. And then that goes back on like that. It goes on that way. Oh, it's got thread lock on it. So that goes right there. Yay, something's helping. It goes through there. Hey, that goes through there. Let's see. That screw. That screw. Yeah, I'll put that on backwards. So take that screw back out. I know how to do that now. Take that screw back out. And that screw. I am an expert at many things. This is not one of them. I've never done this. Find the holes. Clean that up. 
clean that up just a little bit because it is again a little funky in there fuzz and the like but the next time that'll be seen is another 20 50 however many years it was since uh, the origination of this as a gift all right that looks like a Pretty good fit. Big screw goes in the top. Use big driver right there. Little driver. Drive, 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 drive. Drive, 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 drive. All right. Now the safety is currently disengaged. And I think I have the spring in the wrong position, but if I put the safety in place, you can see that the just barely the tip of the blade is there, and now I can't accidentally open it. Uh, so I'm going to take this back apart. I'm going to call this a success for... replacing the safety mechanism on my Kershaw 1620T that they so graciously uh, provided and I'm going to try this all over again. Thanks! So after all the nastiness and multiple tools uh, we have success. So it opens slide the little mechanism in place it no open. Slide it out of the way and it opens. Uh, one of the things that I found is that um, I tried to over tighten the screw uh, at the base of the blade uh, and the driver that I was using was not the actual the right size. Um, and it started to slip at the end. This should be a one-handed operation. That's a little tighter now so it's not as spring sprungy. I loosen that just a hair. I like, like the snap when it slaps open. And then locked. And no more amateur vasectomy attempts um, while I'm walking around. There we go. Kershaw. Oops, I locked it. Haha, and it worked. My Kershaw 1620 ST. Uh, made in the USA, 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 uh, and they did a wonderful job of supporting me, uh, which I was not asking for. Uh, I merely was going to uh, ask where I could get a replacement part, uh, and while I've got it mostly apart and have all the right tools, I'm just going to clean underneath here, but you don't need to see that. Oops. Uh, trouser Funk. That's the name of my new band. Uh, so I'm going to clean this up and put it back together and call it done. Hey, thumbs up, my freakish hitchhiker's thumbs. Ta-da! The Kershaw website is kershaw.kaiusa.com. I uh, came to support... I went to warranty and service, and the page, re page refreshes. Scroll down, you can read all the legal ease. Uh, put in your contact information, uh, put in the product information, and that was it. Uh, the next thing I knew, about two weeks later, I had uh, parts in the mail. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.